Today we're going to look at the trailing stop tool, which I have highlighted here. Now, as an example, we purchased Santos back here on the 9th of January at $5.83. At that time, on that day, we also placed a stop loss at $5.37. And then we are trailing the stop loss by five cents each day. So we can see here that the stop started at 537 and has slowly moved up. While the stop loss shows in red, we are still below our break even point or actually our break our entry point. There's no allowance here for brokerage, GST, or anything else. It is purely price-based. So once we get back above our entry price, the trailing stop turns blue and indicates that all things permitting, we are locking in a profit. Now, to do this on another chart from start, Let's go to something like A2M and let's just pretend that we bought somewhere around here uh, on a break of $11. So I'll click on here, uh, our entry price, and I'll assume a stop loss at, uh, let's say $10.20 and we'll trail the stop by, let's go with 10 cents. So at the moment, the price has got a long way away from the stop loss. So what I might do is just delete that stop, go back in and start again from that $11 point our stop was going to be $10.20 and we will trail the stop. This time, let's go with uh, 16 cents for the example. And you can see that in actual fact, the way it has turned out, 16 cents has been a pretty good fit. We currently have the stop locking in a profit at $11.96, last price $12.78. So we're still lagging the price a fair bit, giving it room to move. The other thing that you'll notice is that for a period of time in here, the stop loss is flat and it is again here. The stop only rises on a day where the price today closes higher than yesterday. If the price declines, the stop loss just stays rock solid you know that you never lower a stop, you leave it in place and raise it when the price rises. So that's a brief example of how to use the trailing stop loss tool in the new upgraded software.